I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses and the voice I hear falling on my ears, the Son of God discloses. And he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever Everybody, Lady Cheryl here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I have Brian, Bria, can't you smile? And Bria here, and we're getting ready to go out to the greenhouse and let you see what's growing on in there, okay? All okay. right, okay. let's get started. Okay. Okay, so we're out in the greenhouse. Let me see what you have, Brian. I have some seeds. Brian is taking the Morning Glory seed pod, see right here? And he's getting the seeds out of them. Now, give them to me, please. You can open all of those. And what we're going to do with these seeds is we're going to plant them right here. I'm going to tell you what happened. These seeds are real old. Where well, I planted some spinach. They haven't come up. So I'm just going to sprinkle some of the morning glories in here because it's a good temperature in here. Morning glories, they're very easy to germinate. Since the spinach seeds were real old and they didn't come up, we're letting Brian and Bria take some of these morning glory seed pods. You just Ooh, drop these one. Are big seeds. I can find. And I'm going to take them over here. Excuse me, Brian. Thank you, Bria. And we're going to put some over here. I'm just going to sprinkle them. I found big seeds. See if you can find some more pods that I pulled up. Okay. They were right over here. Thank you, Brian. And that's enough. If we find some more pods, seed pods, we can save those seeds later. Okay, we're going to take everybody on the tour. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is back here. I cut in a window to bring more air. Because, Bria, you have the monitor. Let's show them how hot it is in here. 88 and 89 degrees is pretty warm for the winter time. It's 70 degrees outside. But this is what I want to show you. A couple of weeks ago, I showed you how my Meyer lemon was full of blooms. So this tree is going to have some lemons. But this is what I noticed yesterday. We're getting blooms all over this grapefruit tree. And this is the first year that I've had this grapefruit tree and that Meyer lemon. Because you remember last February 3rd, 2021, all of my trees died out here except for one. And I noticed something else on this Lisbon lemon. This is a new tree. Look right there, guys. It's, see that little right there? That little purplish bloom? It is blooming as well. I don't see anything yet on the uh, Awarian Cold Hardy Satsuma or my Miho Satsuma. This is the only tree that's still alive from last year. Everything died in the greenhouse during that freeze. So, one, two, three, four of these trees are new, and I have them in carts that I can roll them out of here uh, in March, April, when the weather conditions are favorable. This is the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. It's getting ready to <laughs> produce a little fig. It is a LSU purple fig that I got from Stark Brothers. And I planted some comfrey in there. And next is the saffron. These bulbs were donated to me. They're doing real good. Come here, Brian. I need you to pull those weeds out of there. Everything that's not like a string. Yes. Okay. Anything that's not straw-like, pull it up. Look at the next pot. That's saffron, the most expensive herb in the world. You see anything else? No. 
Okay, so guys, we want to show you, we also have banana plants that we stored in here. And you can see at the top, that's growing. That's going to be real easy to put back in the ground. And we have three new noble muscadine vines in these little three little planters right here. And you can see they're beginning to put on leaves. So they're uh, active. And each one of them, I put a little comfrey in there. And they're going to be planted in the ground in the spring. Celery is doing really well. Uh, I can harvest some of it and we have sweet William and some echinacea that can really, uh, echinacea can go outside. We have more celery over here. We have some comfrey that I'm going to be planting the ground all over the food forest. Our gooseberries are dormant. We're going to put them in the ground as well as that Mexican petunia. We have seed pies of the Mexican petunia. Hopefully I'll be able to give some of these seeds away to my subscribers. You can see this lettuce is ready to harvest. And I planted these seeds in here. Uh, this green romaine lettuce right there is doing really, really well. Okay guys, what I wanna show you next is my jungle of tomato plants. We have a lot of tomatoes on the vine. I'll get up closer and show it to you. Look at these. Yeah, those are peppers. Brian wants you to see that. And now you see, Brian, the last time you were over here and you wanted to pick this pepper. And I said, no, let's let it stay because I wanted to turn orange. It's a California orange wonder pepper. And they're sweeter when they turn from green to orange or red. Now, right here, I'm doing a voiceover to let you know that your peppers will be inconsistent in the size and the shape when your temperature fluctuates. Sometimes it's 100 degrees in the greenhouse when it's 70 degrees outside. Or when temperatures dropped all the way down to 19 degrees and I was able to maintain a temperature of 40 to 45 degrees in the greenhouse. I just want you to know it's a little difficult, but if you're retired like me, it's a lot of fun, especially with the wireless thermometer. I can, you know, um, keep check of the temperature. But like I said, inconsistent temperatures will make you have inconsistent shapes and sizes of peppers. I want to show everybody the uh, tomato plants and we can get up close and show you guys that we have lots of tomatoes. As you can see here and here, we have the giant green tomato. Look at that one, Brian. It's huge. Yes, it is. It's called a mushroom basket. It's going to get real huge. That's a huge tomato. Okay. All right. And here's one right here. It's a mushroom basket. It's going to grow real big. It's very hard to try to keep these tomatoes growing when the temperature keeps fluctuating. There are some over here, Brian. Look, there's three of them. Let me show you. Let me see if I can get it in there. Yeah, don't pull it down. Don't pull them down. Okay, there's five tomatoes over there. Put your hand up so I can see where your hand is. Very good. We're going to go in here and get those scissors over there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to thin these leaves out. Anywhere that I cut, you take. Hey, everybody. Bria harvested some carrots. They're tiny carrots. They're called Parisian carrots. They can grow a little bit bigger than that, but they usually be like a size of a radish. But it was so hot in the greenhouse this winter that they, you know, we could have planted them outside. Next year, we will plant them in the cold weather outside and not in the greenhouse. Okay? Do you like them? Yeah. Okay. They smell good. Great. Okay, Brian, right here, you can harvest these small uh, sweet peppers don't harvest the big ones. Please? If they already turn orange, that's as big as they're going to get. You can harvest that. Okay, I'll take it. We can harvest the other two small ones. They'll be 
Next, don't pull them off again. Next time, cut them off. Okay? And you want to hold up that big one down there? We're not going to harvest it yet. Try to put it outside of the bucket. Uh, no, I can't. Yeah, you can on the other side. There you can. There you go. And there's a big one over there. Put it outside of the bucket. See that big green one right there? Put it outside of the bucket. If you can't, go another way. No, okay, we'll do that the next time. Okay. Bree, you want to put these yeah. on the kitchen counter? And then, Brian, I'm going to let you harvest some of the celery. We're just going to cut all of this off right here. Very good. Keep cutting. And we're going to cut all of this off right here. And I'm going to dehydrate this. Very good. That's enough. That's enough. You can cut this one. Okay. Very good. And we have more celery over here. We're going to give this to Bria. It's nice. Bria, you're going to put this in the dining room? I Are mean, you gonna kitchen make counter. A salad? Yes. We can make like a uh, chicken mm -hmm. salad. Mm -hmm. I don't like here, salad. Brian. You want to go ahead on and harvest some of this for me? You're going to cut it off just nice like you did the other one. Cut it right across there, okay? Hey, hold that, Bria. Thank you. Back. Brian, you got to move it back. I want you to cut the whole thing. See, like right here? You're going to cut this whole thing right here. I barely can pull that up. I don't want to pull it up. Okay. We're going to harvest one, peppers. Yeah, they're huge. Let's go ahead and let you harvest them. Harvest them, hold the pepper, give it to me. No, don't don't snatch it off. Cut it off. Very good. That's a beautiful jalapeno pepper. Uh-uh, don't. Look, Brian, you can't jab the leaves. Watch and be so very be very particular about what you're doing. Another beautiful pepper. Come oh, on, Bria. Look. Beautiful. One of them is almost turned red. Bria, we need you to get the peppers, please. One of them almost turned One's red. turning red. That's fine. And there's some more. Does that mean it's really, really spicy? Mm, yeah. But they taste almost the same to me. It's they don't get sweet like sweet peppers. They take they get hot. Here, sweetie. You can put them up there on the shelf until Brian gets finished. Yeah. Very good job, Brian. Hold the pepper so you know what you're cutting. Very good. You see any more green ones? Yeah. Well, so we're getting ready to get a big cold front. Look, Brian, let me show you. You can take this one, this one. Here's some over here. You can take them all. So if we get a cold front, we don't want to leave anything to chance. Very good. Take them all. Daddy said it's going to snow in about a week. There's a chance of some snow. Yeah. Come on, Bria. Whoa. You could have brought a basket this or something. Like a major that little area. box. Here. You got to take these. Go get a box. Go get a box. Okay, let me bring the box up. Put them down there, Brian. With all of the good peppers. Not that box, Bria. A little small box. Good job. That's a pretty one. Let me have it, Brian. That's a nice big pepper. I'm going to stuff some peppers. Mm-hmm. Look. Here's one here. The wonderful thing about peppers is you can chop peppers up and put them in the freezer. You don't have to blanch them. I thought I saw one right around here. Here it is. Here's one right there. Uh-huh. And then there's one right here. That's a big one. Be careful. Don't stab the leaves. Sorry, leaves. Okay, here. Here's one right here. Whoa, that's a really long one. Okay. That's a big one. Okay. It's bigger than the tip of my scissors. Yep. 
It really is. Okay, let's move down and let's see if we have any sweet peppers over here. No, we just have a lot of small ones. We got them the last time. You can cut the bad leaves off of the tomato plant right here. The one that has beige looking yellow. leaves or yellow. Yes, trim them off. But we have two beds in the greenhouse, guys. We have one where we have a lot of tomatoes. We had a few carrots and basil. And here we had a lot of peppers and one tomato plant. Look all the way down that area. Whoa. Good job, Bria. It is a nice box, but this is the only tiny box. Okay, that's find. cool. Put the peppers in here. I can hold a box. Wow, you guys found lots of peppers. We sure did. And I want you to go in the house and get the other peppers. One behind you. Uh-uh, you almost stepped on it right there. I want you to go in the house and put other peppers with these, okay? Okay. Any leaves on the ground or close to the ground, cut them off so that they can get some air. Don't stab the plant. Only cut the branches. Any condition. I don't care if they're green. Take a cut them off. You see this lean on the ground? Cut the whole branch off. Uh, this? It's coming from here. Cut that whole branch off. Just cut it. Don't stab anything else. Very good. Let's see if we have any tomatoes yet over here. No, I don't see any plane flying over here. Yeah, that's a nice amount of peppers. Hey guys, I'm back out in the greenhouse. I had to take Brian and Bria home, but I want to share this with you. These are my bay leaf plants, and you see how big that one is? I uh, started them on the same day. They didn't do well in the um, summer. I guess it was too hot. So once temperatures get past 100 degrees, I'm going to bring these two plants this one and you can see the new leaves because they are a little lighter in color than the older leaves but this put on all of this new growth this past winter in the greenhouse okay and I was looking at the video I want to make sure that I explain to you guys where I put the morning glory seeds the spinach seeds take a long time to germinate if they come up in here then I would just prick out the morning glories and put them where I want them to be. In this basket, I planted morning glories. And let me just turn around and this one as well. Okay, so nothing will go to waste. All right. Also, I noticed when I was looking at the video, I didn't share how tall these plants are. And so I opened up that door so you could see the blooms because some of them are seven feet tall. If I was to stand this one up over here with all these blooms right in there and all in there, it would be seven feet tall. But I'm going to leave it like it is. And I need to tell you that plenty of sun comes in right through in here to for the tomato plants. But I had to block out some of the sun with a 90% shade cloth on the outside of the greenhouse because it was registering over 100 degrees on warm days around 70 degrees. So I had to do what I had to do. But it, it's getting plenty of sun as you can see here. Okay. Now I'm going to go and show you that I have some more hanging baskets with plants I was trying to uh, save over the winter. Okay, I'm going to go to the front. I'm going to show you my other banana plants. See how tall those tomato plants are. And I also have comfrey growing here and here. And then I have four banana plants that I dug up. One, two, three, four, and they're all growing. This one a little slower, but you can see growth here, here, and over there. And then I have one over here that's not doing too well, but that's okay, because I still have a lot in the ground, and I still have um, five that are doing well in the greenhouse. I have more brown turkey figs down there in that pot. 
and I have some water. Always keep some water in your greenhouse so that when you start watering, the temperature will be the same. I have two cherry trees that I purchased recently from Stark Brothers. They're stellar cherry trees. I didn't want to put them outside. I thought I'd give them a, a healthy start here in the greenhouse. More hanging flowers over there. And then I have the three uh, brown turkey figs that I did the air layering on. And they're all close together in these one, two, three pots. And of course, more comfrey. And I have more lemongrass that I need to harvest and dehydrate. And more comfrey down there. More lettuce. And those seeds that I sprinkled the other week, they're coming up very well here. Merlot lettuce. And I think I got some Merlot lettuce someplace else. Yeah, I remember it's right in here. Okay, so this concludes this update on the greenhouse. I hope I shared something with you that you can use, something that will inspire you. Take a chance. Uh, there are not too many people that I know that are growing tomatoes in the winter time. Usually I have more ripe tomatoes by now, but I started late this year. Okay, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And remember, check me out every Monday night for my live chat where I'll be answering your questions. Take care. Bye now.